from colour in fashion to the colours that only nature can provide, in flowers, for example. Although gradually, through the ingenuity, care and persistence of man, blooms even more lovely have been cultivated. Now, at nurseries in Shirley, near Birmingham, let's watch Mr John Woolman, one of the world's foremost authorities on chrysanthemums, carrying out cross-pollination to produce a new variety, just one of the many aspects of his work. To produce something really new, the most exhaustive study has to be made of the parent plants. Factors like history, genes and general characteristics. Furthermore, seeds have to be of the right quality. In fact, here only about 10 are selected from every thousand. Despite this, thousands of new types of chrysanthemums have been created here. Most people like to think of chrysanthes as a typically English flower, yet it was first recorded in 500 BC in China and then later in Japan where it became the crest of the Mikado before being introduced to this country in the 18th century. However, thanks to people like the Woolman family, we at last seem to be making up for all that lost time. 